Okay, so the Navy SP4 is like supposed to come out February 25th at select skate shops. Um, apparently this is like pretty like confirmed. Like I, I'm not sure if this is like confirmed, confirmed, but apparently like. Hey man, say man, it's Armand Too Real in the cut on the mic. As you can see, and today I'm coming back at y'all with another sneaker like discussion type video. Today I'm gonna be talking about some upcoming heater drops. Apparently we're supposed to be getting some red, like these shorts I'm wearing, like some red SB4s. And then also like the these like navy SB4s have always um, have been rumored too. But these are just rumors like apparently for 2025. So we're still a fat like minute away from then. But I just wanted to kind of talk about it because that'd be really cool. You know what I'm saying? But hey, before we get in this video, drop a like, drop a sub, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into this video. Um, actually, I want to see like when are these like red SB4s supposed to drop? So let me look this up real quick. Okay, so apparently they're rumored to be next spring 2025. So um, a fat minute away from now. But hey, still something to look forward to because like I really like the pine green SB4s. But like they're honestly not too crazy. Like honestly, these are just like what I'm gonna go for go with because like I wear a 12 and a half and 12 and a half and SB4s goes for like 700 bucks right now on pop up market right now of SB4s. Like it's crazy. So I rather just buy like a blue SB4 with the nike air on the back you know what i'm saying still a nice clean jordan 4 for 200 bucks or compared to 700 dollars. so you know what i'm saying i feel like that's what a lot of people are doing too and um yeah but that's just gonna be really nice something to look forward to because like i missed out on the sp4s whenever they came out like they literally just came out last year and like that was like right like they came out and then like i like was slowly getting back into sneakers and like releases and stuff and actually like buying like like sneaker drops and stuff like i wasn't really like I, i've always been to sneakers but like i like just started like getting back into it like last like fall area like i mean just like go to my first video like that's about like when i started getting, getting back into it but yeah that'd be super dope to get a red sb4 like the green one obviously the first one's always gonna be the best but you know what i'm saying a red sb4 that'd be pretty nice but um yeah i mean the only downside is it's like it doesn't make like the green one as exclusive because like there's gonna be a red one there's gonna supposed to really be a, a navy one let me check when the navy one's supposed to come out real quick okay so the navy sb4 is like supposed to come out february 25th at select skate shops um apparently this is like pretty like confirmed like I, i'm not sure if this is like confirmed confirmed but apparently like the navy one's like pretty confirmed so that's gonna be crazy apparently nike saw how good the green one's doing and they're like okay let's bring some other colorways man we, we gotta kill off the resellers you know what i'm saying because nike really killed off the re resellers with this shoe right here like these are really nice but what they did was they did like a panda dunk like they made more shoes than people pretty much like more shoes than what what how many people wanted these so yeah that's pretty much what they did with this shoe and that's why market right now on these is literally retail or below so yeah pretty crazy but in this size my 12 and a half you know what i'm saying it's still pretty high unfortunately for me i wish my size was under retail but it's all good you know what i'm saying like come on now nike like make more 12 and a half like come on make more 12 and a half than there are people that wear 12 and a half like do that for me you know what i'm saying so i can get my pairs for cheap but um yeah anyways because like you know what i'm saying i i'd I be like flipping kicks and stuff so i mean it, it does kind of suck because like you know it does it is nice to you know make a little bit of money on a shoe like for example the bread reimagines they weren't going for nothing crazy it's kind of sad that nowadays people see a 300 dollars jordan 4 is like a big you know hot commodity because like you know you have to buy in the shoe at 220 230 and then just to make 70 bucks per pair like that's all right that's okay that's all right you know what i'm saying that's pretty good you know in 2024 that's a good flip you know what i'm saying because nothing's flipping nowadays like only very limited stuff that you can't even touch is it's flipping like j bowen threes futuras um stuff like that stuff that you can't even really touch so you know obviously that's gonna flip because you can't even touch it because the demand's super high and the stock is super low so nike does it on purpose they make some models like really limited and give the opportunity to resellers but then they also like don't give the opportunity because not many resellers can get their hands on them because you know it's so limited so yeah they do that they keep some models you know limited on purpose but like that would be super dope like pretty much i was looking at these like a blue sb4 yet they don't say like nike sb on the back they say nike air which nike air that's the best you know i ain't gonna lie nike air is the best so yeah these are super clean i'm glad i added these into the collection but um yeah i'm really hyped for those red sb4s like the red ones are way better than navy ones like the navy ones are pretty mid but i would still buy them obviously for the personal collection and i bet they're gonna be doing some numbers so i'm definitely looking forward to that even though we're just in july or in june right now i'm, I'm rushing we're in june right now so like we're literally just halfway through 2024 so i don't even really want to talk about 2025 releases but at the same time you know i kind of want to discuss this because like you know it is kind of cool like i saw that on my instagram like the red sb4 and i'm just thinking like dude a red sb4 would be nice like i like literally i could wear them with these shorts right here like i, re I, like, I, really, I really like red like red's one of my favorite colors so that would be dope you know i have a red sb4 with the nike sb on the back and like actually give like people like me that missed out on the green pair for retail like obviously the green pair was super hard to get but 
you know, it, it's nice to at least like put an effort to at least try to get it. So then you know, like, okay, well, at least I tried to get it. But me, I just completely missed down the pine greens. Like, I didn't even go for them. Like, I know a few people, like, literally, like, local to me, like, like, like some, like, you know, mutual friends that, like, literally hit on the SB4s for retail, like, on the sneakers app. So, like, that was pretty crazy. You know, there was, like, you know, some people that were hitting for retail. But, um, yeah, I, w I wish I got the pine and greens. Like, I really, the green's my favorite color, but red's, like, one of my favorite colors. So, if they come out with a red version, hey, I'm going to be happy with that. I'm definitely going to cop that up um, to flip and, you know, for the personal for sure. Like, not going to lie. Like, you know, I bet they're going to be flipping. So, if I can get a pair to flip, that would be nice. But, also, I want a pair in the collection for sure because a red SB4, that would be nice. But, you know, I already got these military blues. Like, I was pretty much calling these, like, the blue SB4 because, like, they're shaped pretty similar to the SB4. Like, the only difference is, like, well, go watch my military blue review i just did like i'm kind of late to the party but hey go check out that review you know what i'm saying because you know it's, it's our it's our mom two reels you know what i'm saying review it's not it's not a regular regular review so go check out that military blue review that i just did recently because i finally got my hands on my size but um back on the red sp4s they're supposed to come out like i said spring 2025 so we got a minute from now but so you know don't get your hopes too high like they're just like rumored but the navy ones are apparently like confirmed i'm not sure on that but i'm pretty sure there's rumor too i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty sure like people like i mean that information is from this place called sneaker bar detroit so i'm not sure how like valid sneaker bar detroit is but um if they're i'm pretty sure they're pretty valid because like as you can see it's like popping up like on like the first thing hold on i'll show you it's like popping up on like the first thing on my thing i'm gonna pop it on the screen like how both of them i probably already popped up how both of them look but here let me check how long this video has been real quick y'all okay it's been about seven minutes long but yeah nothing too crazy that, that would be nice though to get that red pair and you know nike sb on the back that'd be nice i could definitely see them on my shelves chilling as you see my shelves are red leds right now so that'd be dope but i'm happy with these military blues for now even though i like pairs like the nike sb pine greens like those are nicer because like not many people have those like stock was pretty low on them i'm pretty sure it was like 50,000 or something like that on the sneakers app but then they hit skate shops and that's cool for a jordan 4 to hit skate shops so i'd really like to get the chance like to go to a skate shop local to me enter a raffle hopefully hit those i know they'd be really tough because a lot of people was going to be going to the skate shops getting trying to do that the same thing as me but the only thing bad part about these is like they're like a panda dunk everyone's got these like literally like everyone's got these like this is like a shoe that i kind of just want to like store away for like six months a year and then wear them whenever people like kind of forget about them because like i don't know i just don't like wearing shoes at like a sneaker convention or something and then like everyone else has them on their feet like just kind of like you know it's not that special you know real sneakerheads like to have shoes that like are kind of like special you know what i'm saying it's not like a high beast thing it's not none of that it just like like a high beast like you know i'm not even getting that but you know like it's just kind of like you know it's like being unique you know it's just like real sneakerhead like well, at least me like me like i don't know just me i like to be special you know what i'm saying i like that you know i like to have like a special shoe on my feet whenever i go to like a sneaker event or like a re nice restaurant or you know something like that you know i don't want to have like a shoe that everyone and their mama has like these i made way too many of these like a million and a half or something crazy like that like that's way too much nike that's more than really what people i think that's more yeah they definitely did that on purpose like they over um populated these on purpose so then like you know they kill off the resellers and also like make all their profits so no one else can make profit no one can flip their shoes and they can just get all the money that you know it's i don't, I don't really understand how many people like could like support nike when they like when you like really di uh, dig deep in like how nike thinks like they're very greedy you know like very greedy like you know some 16 year old reseller or me 18 year old reseller out there is just trying to make a couple hundred bucks on their pairs and they can't even make 20 bucks each can't even make 10 bucks each really because they made so many dang pairs and like it's just you know just sad that you know people will still will like support nike but then say screw the resellers i'm not trying to flick y'all off but you know it just like it just doesn't make any sense like people really need to open up their mind like head like eyes and just be like dang nike is really greedy they really made a million and a half pairs of this shoe just to get, get every single bit of the profits nobody else can get anything just straight nike i understand that I made this shoe this is turning into a rant i'm not going to turn this video into a rant but well, pretty much short story straight, Nike's a very greedy company and people need to open their eyes to that. But um, anyways, drop a like and sub on drop a like and sub on this video. More fire videos on the way. I'm pretty hyped for that red pair. I hope I can get those for retail and hopefully a pair, you know, the flip for retail so then I can make some good money on that. And then maybe get the navies too. I do like the navies too. Like don't I ain't gonna lie. But then the navies are very similar to this pair. So I don't know. I might sleep on the I don't know, I'm not gonna sleep on a Nike on a dang SP4, but you know. Anyways, though, drop a like, drop a sub on this video. I don't want to make this video too, too long. And I'm um, expecting more fire videos coming very, very soon. So, yeah. Peace.